We welcome you to Columbus for the Division 4 Girls State Championship game. It's a rematch with Minster taking on Ottoville. The Wildcats winning by one point back in January. And today's coverage brought to you by the Minster Bank and Subway of Ottoville. The Ottoville fans rocking the green on St. Patrick's Day and Minster in orange bouncing up and down. It's the Wildcats on the board first. Courtney Pranger to Taylor Kogi, 2-0 Minster. But back comes C.J. Kemper tying this one at two apiece. Ottoville going on a run. Bridget Landon doubled. Look at the kick out to Kemper. 5-2, big green. Then the inbounds right back to Knippen. Casey Knippen makes it 10-2 on the triple. And Ottoville's run continues. Entry pass to Amber Miller. It's a 12-2 lead. Minster coming back. Ivy Wolf, the freshman, to the senior. Kogi going to play at Ohio Northern University. Makes it 12-4. Then it's Wolf knocking down the triple. It's a five-point game, but before the end of the quarter, Landon creating off the dribble, back up to a seven-point lead for Ottoville. Look at this baseline pass by Minster to Wolf. 14-9, Ottoville leads after a quarter. In the second, Knippen spin dribble and scoring. 18-10, Ottoville's lead back up to eight, but again, Minster goes on a run. Wolf, the runner, it's a four-point contest. How about Landon? What a pass to Kemper. 20 to 14. Ottoville still in front. Then it's Pranger, the post move, cutting the lead to four. And Fisher, the steal. Ahead to Janae Hoying, who finishes 24 to 20. Ottoville leading Minster at the half. Third quarter, Ottoville trying to pull away. Great look to Amber Miller. Makes it 26-21. But Wildcats on the run. Hoying, three, ties it at 29. And later on, Pranger, offensive rebound. It's a 35-31 Minster lead. They continue to score. Wolf driving the freshman with the left-handed shot. Gets it to go. Ottoville not going away. Steal by Landon. Goes coast to coast. The future Finley Oiler. Turnaround jumper. Ties it again. This time at 37. Then the back and forth continues. Cut by Damaris Wolf. 39-37 Wildcats back in front. Landon. The answer and the foul. It's 40 to 39. Ottoville to the fourth. Minster up by one again. Landon. Good passing to Kemper. 42 41. Lady Green. Back comes Minster with Pranger. The future Xavier Musketeer working inside. One point lead for the Cats. Again, Ottoville and answer. Knippen to Miller. One point lead for Ottoville, but you know what's coming next. The ball bouncing out to Hoyne. The freshman buries it. 45-44, Minster in front. Then an injury to Landon sends her out of the game, and Pranger going to work. Makes it 49-48 here. Again, it's Pranger around and around, and it finally falls. Three-point lead for the Lady Cats. Late in the fourth, the fast break ahead to Kogi. The senior makes it a five-point advantage, and then more defense from Minster, the steal. Pranger finishes. She gets 17 points, 15 for the freshman Wolf, as Minster wins the state championship for the third time in girls basketball, 63-48. to Mike Wiss leads the baseball team to a state title in June, and the girls basketball team to a state championship here in March. That speaks to the kids that Minster has and the community that I coach and teach in. That's exactly what that is. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of our staff, our kids. I'm happy, happy as hell that Nan Stechschulte is back on our bench, and she has enjoyed this more than anybody. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's the kids and it's the community. Everything and everything I guess I ever wanted. I've been dreaming for this for more than four years, obviously, um, since the last girls team went to state 2010. And just to know that we finally did it in the four years I've been in high school, um, all the work that I've been in the gym, all the summers that all of us have put in, they paid off today. They really did. And um, just knowing that and it's just so special. And to be, to be able to do it with this team right here and for it to be my senior year, last time in this jersey, it's big. I mean, this has been my goal for a long time, you know. Me and my other freshman friend, we've been talking about it since we were water girls for this team, you know. And just to be able to live that dream, like right in front of my eyes right now, it's just really, it's crazy, but. It's indescribable, it's a great feeling. Um, just the unity, we're such a team. So it's nothing better to win a state championship for the teammates who each and every one of us wanted this so bad. It's just a great feeling. All kinds of respect for Dave, claiming an Ottoville. Class program, class fans. We knew it was gonna be like this, it was gonna be hard fought. Uh, you know, early in the game, we started out um, 
and they jumped on us 10 to 2 and we were a little bit on our heels you could the way we want to play and we got it slow we got it the tempo picked up a little bit middle of the second quarter the last three words we came out at halftime was attack 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 and to this group, group's credit we put 43 on the board in the second half two 20 point quarters and you know we, we got the tempo up um, middle of the third quarter early fourth Knippen and Landon went off on the left block down here uh, and once we got that we made a defensive adjustment we got that settled down and that was the time that we made our run um, you know uh, one of our goals is always to make more free throws than our opponents shoot. Um, the, the controlling the glass, get, they had eight offensive rebounds, but and you know five or six of those were probably putbacks. But uh, the last thing it speaks volumes to how we practice, not just the girls that were their names were spoken on the announcements or or said during the game or on a radio. It's some of the other ones that we call the White Warriors that practice against us just like we want to play every day. We always talk about getting the first three minutes of the third quarter. They're like They should always be ours. Like Coming out of the locker room, like we need to have the more, more energy. And I feel like coming into the game, the first three minutes of the game, I, I don't think we had that energy. So coming out in the third quarter with those three minutes of energy was big for us to get us back in the game. So Minster, your state champion's second title for Coach Wiss over the last year after winning state baseball, he takes home girls state basketball. Thanks once again to Subway of Ottawa and the Minster Bank from the Schottenstein Center, Andy Lynch for WSN.